Hey boys, welcome back to another brand new video. Today we are on Paper Minecraft on Scratch. This is made by... It's probably on here, hold on. Hold on. Griffin Patch. You can find him on YouTube, as here, shown. And today we're trying out Opera GX as well, as you may notice. Uh, so this is the original one. And uh, some information here. Oh, we got some. So today I am gonna be modding Paper Minecraft. Uh, he has a video on like on the on his channel that explains it, and he does cheese. So I thought for us to start off, we might as well go with cheese, and then we'll do more complicated things as we go along so you have further to do let's jump straight into it so the first thing that we need to do is click on titles go to costumes and scroll all the way down to the very bottom upload costume and here we have all of these that I downloaded before so we're going to start off with this one and we need to do Control A. Let's see its size. What size is it? Eight by eight. It shouldn't be that. And now we're going to move on to the next one. So there we go. Upload. I'm going to do. Oh. He said always be on the last one. Upload and we're going to do the cheese all this time. So it's got to be exactly the same. Why does everything go 80 to 80? Draw A. And then the last one's a weird one. Okay. So this one has to be 30, 33 times 35. So control A again. And we're going to try and figure out with this. That's fine. 33 by 38 has to do for me. Honestly, I can't do any more. Okay, so now we're going to move this up to the top. So all our cheese items are there. Now we're heading into the fun bit the code so here we have a uh, I'll click on blank and then we have variables now this is everything that controls the game and here I think this is it yes the block data bit has every single thing that controls the game right here and all the way down we still going these is all of the data up to 6048 so we can edit this uh, directly in scratch but we're not going to do that we're going to tap export and have it exported to uh, my PC so I'll show you that in a second okay so for the little black box I think I might cover it up with something but this uh, now we've extracted it and put it in now we could have done it in stretch but it's better doing it out here because I'm using the same software he did in his video which means you can clone aha got it now we've got it sorted all works out right so now we've got to add in the code the fun bit okay what you'll notice is this line is 20 lines long and it's followed by a space and then another 20 and that is for the records every single line here which is perfect now we do need to get all the way to the bottom to start 
the coding bit. As you can see, they all have a different number, and that shows their block ID. 287. Okay. So, before we jump straight into the code, bit, the fun bit, I'm going to do a little bit of explaining. So, up here, this main bit, this is all the explain. So, it explains the block ID all from here. Alright, so, these are block IDs, all of these. But, what we got to do to make our cheese block back in... Back in um, Opera. To make it, we have to find our costume. So this cheese block here, has, uh, we are better off using something we already have the same. So this one's a gold block, forty by thirty, and number forty-two. Keep that in mind as we head back to notepad okay so the item number is 84 the costume number is 42 that's why I got confused okay now we got this sorted we're ready this is what we're copying it off now we're going to take all 20 of these because we're going to use it to help us with our own so instead of gold ingot this will be our cheese and now next step right we're at the bottom we're going to paste these at the end we're going to leave a gap and move to the next line control v and there they are right so having this second view is really handy we're going to use and match it up to the top bit. Uh, doesn't really help us. I have it right here. Block idea. Block name. So, our block name is obviously cheese. That's not useful. Cheese. Right. Before we set the name, we'll leave that. Now, the last, we have to follow on from the last number which was 287 so we are going to be do that 288 and then the name Next, we give it our name so we're going to follow what they did peace 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 I don't know exactly how you spell that actually Yeah, that's how you spell it, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. I thought I went wrong there. And that will be on our block name. Uh, solid for walking. Solid for walking. Yes, no. P platform can be stood on. N. So. None of these others apart from one, two and the rest should be alright for us apart from 15 15 here 8 yeah 8 is 15 15 creative mode what should it be filed under Three redstone, four materials, five, six, two, seven, or oh, eight materials. I don't know what that says. Mystic Gnosis. But I think it should be under materials, which it is. And that is good. Do we have any food? Wait, if we have food, I can go in there. Blocks, three redstone. Oh, food stuff. So I think it should go in five. Right. Next one is oh, tile sprite of ID. Now this one is important. That says five because that's what the gold's on. But if we go back, I don't know if you could see all that actually. 
I really hope you could. But if we go back to Opera, you will see ours is cheese 308 notepad and we're going to do 308 and I think again for this one is it 308? I think it's 308 308 yeah right the last change will be 84 which will be root items ID the game as for crafting etc so this basically is it is it the same for crafting which it is so we're gonna put 288 which keep it simple is just its name right here so it's ID block ID we're keeping it simple right that's all done so now we're gonna click file uh, save and now we're going to jump straight back in to scratch done now that is saved we're going to go back into the code we're going to go back and tap block data again right click on the top tap import and choose this now I'm not 100% that's the right one so I'm going to go in and grab my right one and that should be done so before we tap hide we're going to scoot down and check if it's there always worth a look now piece of cheese 288 perfect right so let's hide that and we're going to do a quick test we're going to start play and full screen it new game creative flat let's go Right, we're going to see if all this works. So, tap E, food stuff, and there we go. A piece, oh, a piece of cheese. Can't really do much with it. But that is soon going to fix. Because we're going to be able to eat, build, and create this cheese. So, if you want to take a break now, feel free. And we will be right and after your quick break or catching up or whatever you were going to do we are back so first thing we want to do is jump straight back in as you remember we did add in the piece of cheese right through here uh, we should have block a uh, piece of cheese somewhere in here uh, right at the bottom piece of cheese there remember all the settings that we made for it its number is 308 now we're gonna make it so we can craft it or should I say make it yes that's right we're gonna be smelting milk to turn into cheese because the mod does it a different way in normal minecraft but we don't have can't put milk in cartoons maybe in a later date so let's jump straight back in to here where we made our last change over here now you'll notice on one of these we will have burn in a first uh, furnace burn in a f uh, smelt in ah number 12 smelt into a block id zero nothing one titled number and it's dead easy to do therefore we're going to give it a shot so let's get straight into it first thing we need to do is go and search uh, find and search in milk and they pops up one six eight okay now we're up to here we're going to line this up with the headers and then we go milk. Oh, I that. oh, there we go. Milk and smelt into ID often. So here we're going to have where it says uh, right here smelt into block ID. Remember our number 
of our block. It was 288, I believe. So we're just going to put in 288 into here. Now, we're going to move on to the next line, which is burn in furnace duration in seconds zero. No. And we are going to set that to 10 seconds. Right. That's everything. Like, seriously. That is really simple. We made this be able to smelt and if it's putting too long it can burn burn oh, how long it takes to cook which is 10 seconds not that long right we can make cheese and i'll show you it in just one second opera and have a look Let's go into block data again right click tap import and then the newest one we're going to scroll all the way down. Actually, I'm not even going to bother with that. Because I have a feeling it's going to be in there. Let's go tap new. Creative. Flat. Done. Here we go. We're in. And let's see how it went. Food. Cheese is right here. Now we're going to find milk. It should be in miscellaneous ah that's that word couldn't think of it before grab our milk go into uh tool redstone is it in redstone i think it might be in materials or decoration never mind i was wrong it was in decoration oh we're going to enter into see if we can get some coal I believe this version has coal. Yes, it does. Drag that in. Tap E. And move straight over to that. Put it there. Oh. Ooh. I forgot my keybind. There we go. Put the coal in. Oh. Coal didn't really work. Right, let's go grab the coal again. E. Put the milk in first and put the coal back in. Oh, maybe the coal did work. And we should see after 10 seconds we made our cheese from milk. That's how simple that was. Was that really that difficult? No, it was not. If you want to catch up for this stage and go back, your time is now. I head back into costumes and titles. Make sure to push this button here and go straight down where we have our cheese. Our piece of cheese works, but now we need our cheese. Our block of cheese. Which seems to be all at the right thing. So that is 309. So we're going to go notepad and look for 309. Search, find 309. Whoa, it didn't work. Okay, I forgot. We haven't made it yet. Of course it won't work. Now, this is going to be a place block, isn't it? Because, of course, block of cheese. So we're going to find a simple block to copy off. Let's start off with three. Or more frequently known as dirt. This is block three. Which of course works. So we're going to go and grab from the space all the way down oh, messed up there grab all of that including the three all the way down to here control C or right click and copy and then we're gonna go all the way down too far 
There we go. Now we're back to where our piece of cheese is. We're going to do a space and then do control V. There we go. Now we need to copy off here. Two, eight, two, eight, nine. Now we're going to call it block of cheese. Now we're going to line it up. Do a line block of cheese. Here we go. Solid for walking. Yes or no? Yes. Hard or dig. 0 0.5, which I think is quite fine. Since digging tool, non spade axe, pickaxe, shears. Spade. Okay, so this is where we're going to change it. Uh, to N because we don't really need anything to dig this up now oh, might as well make it a capital and then a uh, liquid height zero N flow of direction not necessary N four light absorbent which is alright, that stays the same. We don't need to really look into any of these. Harvest block. Now it only comes up to importive or important when we get to here. Building block. Which I would say, yeah. It's a building block, so we'll keep it as that. Title sprite ID. This is where we've got to change to 289. Uh, inventory sprite ID. Again, we'll just keep this as 289. Item durability um, 0. Rooted item as the game crafting, etc. This is where it comes important. Okay. Right. When we thinking. It is a building block, kinda. But is it really a building block? Like, I am not really too sure, so let's find that again. Ah, here we go, 15. So I believe. What is it? Here. I believe it should be 5. I think it is a food, really. Block of cheese. It makes sense, so we'll put it back in the 5. Right, let's move on to the next step. Okay, so the only thing I had to change was rooted ID, same for question, etc. Which makes sense. Now, we got all that, so we're going to tap the save button, and we're going to jump straight back in to Opera GX. And in here, we have our cheese again. And we're just going to go code. We're going to go straight to the, oh, I forgot what it's, there it is. Right, now we're going right click on that, import again, and we're going to choose the same file. Now, I don't think I need to check if it's in there. It should be. So, we're going to go straight on creative play. And we're going to hope, okay, let's do this. E, food. Oh, we have an axe in here instead. That's a problem. Isn't it? Is it a placeable? Oh, no. I think we might have selected the wrong ID. Not too much of a problem. We can sort that, okay? Oof. Costume. Blank. Oh, sorry, not that one. Uh, let's end this, please. And we are going to go with titles. On titles, we're going to scroll all the way down and see what has. 309. That should have worked. 
of course something did go wrong so we'll get straight to the bottom of that little mistake i made on my part so i'm going to show you it so you Okay, I understand my mistake. What it was is I put in the costume ID and not the rooted ID of the actual character. On my half, that was my mistake. Sorry. And it's all fixed now. So when I tap this and that, it sh that we can just hold. And we've made another, hopefully, still an axe. Woohoo! It works. Well, does it work? It should do because it did on it. Yay! We are able to make an ugly house out of cheese. So, we've officially made it and made it breakable and placeable, as we can tell. But we've also now made cheese block placeable now i'm going to show you the mistakes i made so you don't make the same ones because if you're following this or following any tutorial they might make a little mistake and that's what i did so and it's what we know is it's all right to make mistakes so let's move straight back over to the notepad here yeah, and as you can see 309 here 309 Two eight nine of this bit here. I'll show you on the thing here. So I made the mistake on the root item ID, and then inventory sprite and the title sprite ID, which are the two most important things. And I mixed them up with the axe. Apart from that, everything worked out. And now we get to move on to the next step, which is going to be the crafting. Okay. We're going to move on to the next bit because obviously to make the cheese, uh, the cheese block, you need a recipe, don't you? Or is you're just making, or well, it's just a creative item. Well, that is what we're going to do. We're going to make use four cheeses and turn it into a. a um, block so next step instead of going to the block ID we need to scroll down until we find the recipes here it is whoa that's a lot of information and now we're going to do the same we're going to export it but we're going to do the same thing that we did last time just actually no it isn't it's a lot different this is complicated not I mean it, it's not complicated at all it's easy when you get a hundred understanding so don't be scared at all and I'll explain it I'll explain it step by step here we go so let me explain these is only four lines so we've got the recipe decks which is what it's going to be we've got recipe product which is its number we got the recipe quantity made which will be how many recipe it's grid basically so we're going to copy the top one one two three four including oh not including sorry it's space control c or right click and copy and then we're going to take a long trip not a long trip a short trip down to the bottom and we're going to hold control and tap V. Or right click and tap paste. Right, now we're going to line it up to that recipe decks. Now we're going to name it. This is going to be block of cheese. That's normal. Now, what I forgot to do, I opened this one instead of opening up the right one. Ooh, always a catch. Con right. So, block of cheese, and then we need the number, which is 289, and we need to put that right 
over. Oh, sorry, I'm in the wrong one. We need to put that over here. Two, eight, nine. So now we need to set the quantity, which I'm going to set is two. And last but not least, this is the little hardish bit, which is the encoded bit. So we're going to take from the piece of cheese, and that will be two, eight, eight for us. Okay, this looks highly complicated, but I promise you it is not. Here we are back in Opera. And I'm going to use this software I've never used before to explain. Isn't it? Oh no. Right, okay. One, two, three. Three, three, that's nine. So, everything always gets pushed to the bottom left. Obviously. So, imagine this are cheese, 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 cheese. These are cheeses, and then the rest just get hashed out. And that is how that grid works, but in an easier way. Imagine these as a value. The hashes are value of zero, and these are a value of one. Cheese, 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 cheese. And using the code 288 adds in what the block is. And then the last thing, which is its crafting box, and then it takes that other value and works it out to be the block of cheese. I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, I apologize, but it's really hard to do. And now we're back at Notepad++. You see? So this is just its own code. And the own code for it is the piece of cheese, which is 288. So we're gonna start 28, oh, 288, and then the next one, 288 and then hash like it's done Ooh. hash and you'll notice one two hash one two and then two eight eight and then again two eight eight and that's basically how it works and then we got a gap so we've got two eight eight two eight eight space space hash two eight eight two eight eight space space hash and then space space hash space space hash okay so we're going to redo this because it might be a little bit wrong so it should be like that one two and then it should be two 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 and then this one should have one two and then hash hash where's the hash key I always push it by mistake, but never can find it. There we go. This is the right one here. Showing it out right here. So 288, 288, space, space, hash, 2888, 288, 288, space, space, hash, space, space, hash, space, space, hash, space, space, hash. That is the right code for me. So now that is it. We're going to tap the save button and go and import this back into scratch over to here and look how same was that jump was import and recipes and hide and reset new full screen creative flat create problem oops snowy e food one two, oh. Uh, one, two, three, four. We're gonna go into materials. No, sorry. Uh, yeah, what was it? Yeah, it was uh, decoration. That was it. Not that crafting table. And we'll go E, and then we'll go straight over to that. Place it down to E, and we're gonna go one. Two, three, four, and we get two pieces of cheese. That we can do something with. Okay, we have our two pieces of cheese that now we can use, and there we go. We can shelter ourselves. Okay. 
Now we have these cheese. We don't know what to do with them, really. Okay. We can turn them into blocks. That's fun. But what happens if you didn't mean to? And now you have these blocks that you didn't want. Right? Which is probably the only use for them right now. But that could change. So we're going to make a function so we can turn them back into the block that they were. Let's jump straight into it. So we we got the recipes already, but if you haven't, just download them again. And we're just gonna jump straight back in to our editor. Notepad plus plus. There we go. And we're gonna continue. Okay. Now we're gonna take all of this that we made. Control C. Leave a gap and control V. Done. And now we're gonna change this. We're gonna change this to a piece of cheese right over here control C piece of cheese and change the code and from one block oh no we want that to change to 288 and we want that to change to 4 from one block and then we're going to change this cross recipe we're going to change this to uh, just grab one of these over here. This one's an easy one. We'll grab that and replace ours. And ours is just 289. And then the rest will be hashed out. Hash, hash. So it's space, space, hash, space, space, hash, space, space, hash. You get the point. And then we're just going to run over. And I believe that is done. Tap the save button. I didn't even show you the main game. Whoops. Uh, I should do that afterwards. But I made an infinite glitch. That's all you should know. I made an infinite glitch. made an accident. And uh, now we're heading back straight in. To block over here. On this side. That's a break. We want it where we can block. Right, we need to go onto the recipes. Scroll until we find the block. Here it is. Piece of cheese gives you one. It gives you one. There we go. Now we just need to save that. Done. And we'll just jump straight back in. And then I'll change it. Then it gives you a time to six. So I, uh, I accidentally got rid of it. So if I hide this and show you, look, I have four. Oh, oh I broke it. Oops. This could become a problem. I will show you, but it failed. So, you know, actually, I'll give you one more chance. Go on then. I'll show you since I didn't show you before and I should have. That's on me, I'll show you. Okay, I'll show you now. Uh, so we'll grab a piece. We'll grab, all you need is to make four pieces of cheese. And if you manage to do that, you could make this infinite food glitch. From four buckets of milk, right, make the cheese. And then you're able to do this. You can also there's an all one. I don't know why we didn't use that. That would have been cool. Maybe I might change it so we can do the ore. Hmm, that's a future project. Uh, but anyway, talk. And now if I do E, space, 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 get these out. Space, 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 keep the four. Space, space, space. Do you get it? I think you get it. Space, 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 space. Space. Ooh, we could make it give you like a certain amount of cheese. Look, okay, it works, right? That's that's the point. Right. I broke it, I'm sorry. But now my latest version will fix it. And we'll find out if it does. So let's go back to recipes. Recipes, where is it? There it is. And right click, import. 
and hide start new game we'll go back into creative flat so I thought I was being smart by doing two but actually I wasn't so let's go by four back and go straight into uh, game mode and once I'm in there let's see if it's broken or fixed and I didn't do it properly Okay, there we go. Space, 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 space. Cheese. I only get one. Cheese. Cheese. Yes, the infinite bridge is broken. If you do want the infinite glitch, like I did, uh, just change the recipe to two or more, to be honest. It's just a better infinite glitch than mine. Beat my glitch and um, see how many you can get, I guess. You know what? There's only one problem that I noticed. Let's turn it into food. We can't actually eat it. So the way we should do that is we look on here. We look for the food data thing. We right click and we tap export. And we download that. Then we jump straight back into the place we love. Notepad++. Plus plus. Actually, I'm really enjoying Notepad++. Plus plus. So let's add file. Uh, open. Du, 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 du. Food data. Open. Uh, food data. We're going to keep this open for a piece of cheese. We've got bl block name, uh, hunger points, and all of these things here. And we're going to take it from. Well, we're going to make cheese really good to eat. We can make it like raw beef where you have to cook it. Steak does eight, six. Probably better doing it as an apple like four. Which I make it like one of the best. Okay, so we're gonna take apple, for example. Because like why wouldn't I? Uh put it to a space and do put this in and change it to two eight eight. Eight eight. Change the name to piece of cheese and we'll make it so the max is 8 once if we do like 10 it's quite overpowered oh that's so overpowered should we do it oh. I can always change it back right yeah won't be that much of a problem uh, so 2, 3 hunger points so one, two, three, hunger points. Uh what's four? Four saturation. Th uh let's do five point two. Five point two. That's a fair item left after consuming none. That's six. See what what's uh what's this one? Chance of food poisoning. Ooh, what? We'll take that. Zero point one. Okay, yeah, zero point one. Item left after consuming. Nothing, obviously. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's all we had to do. And it wasn't that hard either. So we're going to save that. Go back into Opera GX. Grab that. And uh, we're going to do food data. Import. Food data. And we're going to hide. Play. That's a play. What's happened? Right. New. Create. We're going to see if this works gonna work to be honest okay I clicked on a random one right let's take our cheese and see if we can eat it how do you eat right okay I don't know how you eat maybe you have to be in this I don't 
don't know. Give me a sec. Okay. I have figured out how to eat. So let's do this. And it is also F to eat. Oh. I forgot. That's G M. See, I forgot the cheese. Whoop. Oh. We need to do a lot of exercise. right the way so that is how we make mods in paper minecraft uh so as i said this was only a start mod because he made a, a tutorial on it and uh, uh i followed it before and then i was just keeping up with what i knew and if i didn't know something i always went back so any time I need a little bit of help but other times I could just figure it out on my own so expect more so I'm 100% making more mods for this uh, we're going to tap save now because this is an amazing project and I'm going to keep working on it with you guys as well so that was a long recording hopefully I can cut it down in the footage but this was amazing hope you enjoyed thank you for watching Peace out. See you all next time. And good. Bye.